Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to LEGO Jurassic Park here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, but fubba gab gab lulu. And uh, we are back here trying to help the sick Triceratops with Dr. Sattler and Dr. Harding. So we're going to keep getting it. It looks like we need a carrot and a popsicle. <laughs> Which, pretty crazy that a popsicle is going to make the dinosaur feel better, but I'm not the doctor, they are. So, well, there we go. I was like, that didn't do anything. There's more poop for us to dig through. Some characters, such as Dr. Sattler, are able to find useful objects hidden within dino droppings. That's Mr. DNA helping us out again, so here we go. There's a lot of stuff in this dino dropping. What did we find? The popsicle. Although, pretty weird that we're feeding a dinosaur a popsicle from poop, but okay. These are dilated. Okay, so there's just one more for us to discover somewhere. I don't think we can get over this just yet. Hmm, so where is that last piece at? Oh, there it is. I don't like her action sound. That, uh, uh, I don't like that. All we're doing is feeding this dinosaur poop food. How's that gonna make it feel better? I guess I'm not the doctor though, so... Let's collect as many of these as we can because we want to get that true survivor award so we can get more golden bricks. All right. So we we healed the Triceratops guys, and now we get to play as her. So. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. You need another hint? No problem. Once healed, dinosaurs can be controlled by pressing Y next to them. So we're gonna become the Triceratops guys, and here we go. Whoa! Look at us go. I know we can smash through objects like this now. I'm pretty sure. I think I gotta get a running start at it though, so. There we go, there's one! The screen's all shaky because the dinosaur's shaking it around. There's another we need to get. Dang, didn't line it up good. Try again. There's some dino bones. Man, we're doing great now, huh, guys? Just want to be a dinosaur the whole time. Watch out for the car! There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. It's fun to be a dinosaur because they can just run into all the stuff. Looks like we need to get that tree knocked over so they can get across. See that dino's chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. So now we can get across, and then when we get across, we can. Uh oh. Starting to get a little rainy, which anyone who has seen Jurassic Park knows what's eventually coming our way, so. We need to build a way for the dinosaur to get across. Because we can't just leave her over there, guys. There we go, Dr. Sattler and all her botany skills to the rescue. Now we're back as Dino. Hey, hey, we got another dinosaur bone part. And true survivor. Getting a lot done on this episode. If you want to make it like a true survivor. So now I'm just smashing stuff for fun, huh, guys? Well, we helped the Triceratops, so now we gotta put this stuff back together. And I have a feeling we're gonna need Dr. Harding to get that open for us. Alright, guys, so this will probably be another puzzle game, so let's see. Or memory. Y, 
X, A. Just like always, it seems. Y, X, A. Good as new. And now the gate's open. You guys, we are making incredible time on this. So let's walk right in. And there's supposed to be someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame them for wanting to get out of this weather. <laughs> that was uh, Dr. Harding just talking about the weather being a little, getting a little worse for wear. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Which, uh, I'm pretty sure I don't remember that's how it goes in the movie. Like, I'm pretty sure Dr. Sattler just gets back to them pretty quickly, but... I could be wrong, it's been a minute since I've seen the movie, guys, so... Don't quit me. Crank off the gate, witch, go on. I bet some greedy dino ate it. Oh, now we need to find the crank to open the gate. And he said a dino ate it, so we'll probably find it in some poop. Maybe in here? It's a lot of stuff. Oh no, there it is. I see the poop hiding behind that wall right there. So we're gonna switch to Dr. Sattler. And she's gonna push this off so we can build the crank. And then we use the crank to open up the gate. Uh, I really enjoy these games, especially uh, when recommending games for younger kids because they help, uh, they help build logic and problem-solving skills. Like, like just there, the logic was so simple for me. But just in case you guys didn't see it, it was, the box was up here. And we pushed it down here. The box broke open and had this piece here. So we connected it and used that piece to open this, which is where that crank will be because the guy said a dino probably ate it. That guy, Dr. Harding said that. And there it is. So now we'll go put this on and we'll be able to let Trixie the Triceratops through. And then I will rotate the left stick. I don't know why it keeps blacking right there. How weird. But now we're through, so... Oh, we got the amber piece in this level. Way to go, us. Oh, I guess it was going to give it to us anyway, because that's the way they have to go. So now we're done with Trixie, guys. So everyone say goodbye, because now we're moving on back towards the visitor center. See, there we are waving goodbye to her. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle doors. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. I can't tell if that's Sam Jackson or not. Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead, all of you. We're approaching the Tyrannosaur product. Very tense right now. Embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. 7 o'clock, the stock. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Guys, that, uh, we finished chapter one, because the prologue isn't technically a chapter. But that's the end of the episode, guys, so congratulations. We made it through another episode, and we made it through another chapter. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope all my younger viewers are enjoying this fun little light playthrough. And uh, I hope some of my adult viewers are enjoying it. You know, I'd love it if you guys could kick on the couch and, you know, I throw out a little Jurassic Park trivia every now and then and we get to solve a little puzzles with your kids. So hopefully you're enjoying it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below or ask your parents to type something in the comments down below for you. Guys, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next exciting episode of LEGO Jurassic Park. Later days, guys.